My brother Dory wanted to wire my sunglasses. I said, well, take care of them. When Norma gets ready to go, you can give them back. You can wear them. Sure, go ahead and wear them. I said, we get ready to leave now. I want my sunglasses back. And he said, okay, I promise. Take care of them and give them back to them. We got ready to leave, and I forgot my sunglasses. Forgot about letting him wear bar and wear them because they looked so cool and I paid so much for them. We got, I guess, halfway home. And I always kept my gun with me because the world's dangerous, but I kept it locked up in a safe manner and a safe way. 38 special stud moves. We got halfway home. I told my wife, I said, Norma, I said, uh, I forgot my sunglasses at the mommy's. And something just tell me go back and get my sunglasses. I want to go back and get my sunglasses. I said, I just let Dorsey uh, borrow him the wire. I didn't give them to him. I want to go back and get them. She said, Jesse, that's an awful long way to go back and get the sunglasses. I said, we'll go back tomorrow and get them. I said, no, man, by God, we're going to go back tonight and get them. I said, I paid for them, and ain't no other God, you know what, going to wear my glasses after me spending my money for them. Them's mine and mine only. I said, I just let him use them. And I said, I will go back and get them. She said, no, I don't think that's the idea. They had drinking, Jesse. He said, I'm tired, so let's go home and go to bed. I said, no, you're going to go to bed, all right. You're going to go to bed in a coffin. If you don't turn this vehicle around and go back and get my glasses. See, that's how the drinking and stuff had me at the time. This is true. And I said, I'll blow your ass and brains out all over the dash. And I said, I won't hesitate one minute, ma'am, about doing it. I said, I want to go back and I want to get my shades. She said, well, Jesse, you don't have to fret me, honey. He said, I'll take you back and get your sunglasses. And I said, Norma, I really am sorry for saying that to you. I'm high and I want you to forgive me. But I'm pissed off because you wanted to come on home and my costly sunglasses had to lay up there with some other weird old worm. I said, I want my glasses. All right, we'll go back and we get my sunglasses. And Dorsey says, uh, here's your sunglasses. And it looked like someone, he's the one responsible for them. Now listen to this had tucked their hands, actually on purpose, and mashed them like this together, and laid them on the TV set in the living room. I said, well, that's a pretty pair of glasses now, ain't it? I know the vehicle didn't run over, and there wasn't no uh, dirt in the frames of them, because the car run them, they'd been dirt in the frames before they was mashed together. He said, well, man, I found them laying, he said, I laid them on the TV, and said, went back to use the bathroom, and said that when I come back out of the bathroom, they was laying in the floor like that, and said, I don't know who done it. He said, I took care of your glasses and laid them on TV for you. I said, well, if you took care of them, why are they doing this kind of shape? He said, I don't know who done it, man. He said, I just found them laying in the floor like that. I said, well, if they ain't no good now, you might as well throw them in a the garbage can. And uh, first, when we first got there, I got it wrong here. I'm getting ahead of myself because, you know, this is the first time Biddy doing on TV, and it does make a person kind of nervous. We first got back her, my father said, uh, Norma, you and Jesse park up here where you usually do. We had a Buick in, a green Buick car. He said, y'all just park up here where you usually do when you come here to visit. He said, I've had a little bit of trouble up here today. He said, the boys got into it, drinking and running the old woman off. She had to go over at Mamie's and stay. Norma said, okay, Dad. And we went up and parked and got out of the car. And then Norma started walking down towards the trailer. And Dorsey walked up to me with his mouth bleeding and uh, looked like his eye was black swelled up. So I got to thinking, my God, boy, what's wrong with you? That's when we come back to get my sunglasses. I said, we'll never know the real truth what caused the trouble that got my father killed. Only thing we'll ever know is that we was there and I got shot when he got killed. And another thing I was thinking, I asked her about, I said, uh, if he come back and had a problem between my brother, why didn't he bring this one shell to kill my brother if he come back to kill my brother for attempting to kill him? Why did he have three shells? And I told my wife, I said, don't that seem funny? You know what that makes me think? I think he had it in his mind to kill my father, Wally, and Dorsey too, all three of them. Because why would he have three shells if he didn't? Wasn't thinking that. He was going to kill all three of them, but when he come back, he got surprised. Me and my wife was already in visiting because I'd come back to get my sunglasses that, you know, I was telling you about.